Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're out here on Lake Huron again. We're going to be flying with lychee via Wi-Fi. We're going to see how this works. And uh, I just want to double check that I got... Uh, yeah, I appear to have screen recording going, so that's a good thing. Um, so I'm going to try lychee Wi-Fi, see how it works. I got the Spark uh, again. Checked hover, no TAMs, maintenance, 10 miles visibility. We're all good. So I'm going to go ahead and take this up. So I'm going to go ahead and issue takeoff command. Takeoff failed, not supported. That's interesting. So. So if I do a manual takeoff. So I can do a manual takeoff. The manual takeoff worked, but the automatic takeoff didn't. Now, I've started the video. It says it's incrementing the video. So, uh, let's go ahead and kind of take it out there. It's a little bit windy. I am disconnected. This is not good. This, this, this lack of the OTG is just simply not good. Uh, I just, it has not been reliable for me across multiple devices, so uh, this is actually very disappointing. As you can see, I'm getting tons of dropouts. Uh, so I'm disconnected right now, which is not comfortable. So I'm getting, uh, you know, telemetry data and it keeps popping in and out. So I don't really quite like that, um, that whole thing. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of, since I am just doing, you know, line of sight here, I'm just going to take it out a little bit, mess around with it, and see what kind of videos we get. And just kind of walk it back around this way, take it down this ice sheet this way. Then just kind of spin it around and run it back up. I kind of gimbal it down so I'm getting getting the ice sheets and uh, just kind of running it up. Let's run it up that way. Let's run it up the lake a little bit. Again, I'm now lost signal again. This is just very, very frustrating. You know, I think you know one of the problems is is I'm not really in a dense neighborhood but there, there is a lot of Wi-Fi around me but um, you know I'm probably good distance that little condo complex over there is probably about the closest to to me of Wi-Fi and I'm sure you know because it's a complex of you know about six eight units or so uh, each one's probably got Wi-Fi but again you know it shouldn't be enough to, to, to create a problem So again, we're just flying it up. So I'm going to spin it back around. Take it back out this way. I'm going to kind of hold up there because I'm kind of lost where I'm at because of the... I can see it out there, but I'm not sure which direction I'm pointing and because the lychee bird here is kind of sleeping. I want to make sure I'm not taking it out over the lake rather than bring it back towards me as I'm flying without it... Uh, getting any type of feedback so again very very disappointing I, I just I, you know personally you know maybe I'm a contrarian and I, I'm looking at it with the glass half empty but to me to me you know it's, it's like Captain Drone brought up in, in one of his vlogs the future of you know DJI and their product line and that there will be a spark pro and I really believe that that they they dumb this down uh, intentionally for, to to release a Spark Pro with an OTG feature, um, you know, amongst other things, and that's why they they broke it because it really makes no sense for them to break it. Why not let us have it if the electronics are there and, and everything supporting that feature and, and software? I don't think is is a big deal, and I actually think from a from a liability standpoint, uh, it, it's better for them 
And I would think actually liability, it's better for them to endorse an OTG type connection rather than a Wi-Fi connection because you see, I mean, how, how many times have I lost it? You know, that's just, to me, a safety issue, just a rudimentary safety issue. Because I got to tell you, I think any of these, you know, see, you know, anything above a toy grade flying with a smartphone only Wi-Fi is, is just ludicrous. You know, like the ghost drone and flying that with the smartphone. That is just not practical. Um, you know, uh, again, for safety and maneuverability and things like that, you simply cannot react to a touchscreen. And one of the things with the touchscreen here, because it's so cold, it is definitely not working optimally. A lot of times I've got to put my uh, hand in my pocket to warm up my finger here uh, just so it works. And, uh, you know, so that, you know, how could you safely fly? you know a, a craft in this temperature now now technically i'm hovering around 32 yeah now it's complaining about something multiple flight modes and we're just gonna fly it back around until we get the video back just kind of fly it back down again so uh I need to see which way I'm pointing. So I need to gimbal up. It's sitting right out over there. I can see it. But I can't see which way it's pointing. All right. Now it's pointing back towards me. We're going to fly it. We'll fly it back down. We're going to just fly back in. This is getting to be irritating, not being able to see and continually having it drop off and that kind of stuff. The frustration continues, folks. Man, I tell you, I was loving on this for most of the year. They took away OTG, and I tell you what, this thing is just really disappointing. Um, because I'm just not having luck with, with the... Uh, uh, Wi-Fi, like I say again, I wanted to try the iPhone 5S, but the battery died for some odd reason when I was flying the Mavic. And so, uh, actually during the flight of the Mavic. So, I don't know. And I don't think that, because I've really considered buying the Clearview, I think it's Clearview, the uh, DJI uh, sort of... Uh, appliance or whatever you want to call it but uh, I'm gonna save that video off before I forget again it's not showing the video is being saved so let's try that I think that's being saved but uh, I, I'm not sure it works with the spark I understand the Ma I think it works with the Mavic and I need to kind of go back this way the winds blowing it around a little bit And uh, we'll put her down. And we're down. So, Spark, good. This combo, bad. Uh, wi Fi just sucks. I mean, I tell you, I'm just, I can't tell you how disappointed I am. I guess I've told you how disappointed I am, but uh, hell, I got to complain to somebody, right? So, anyways, might as well be you guys. So, I give it the flight a big thumbs up. I give the non OTG a big thumbs down thinking about lunch so maybe it's lunch time let me know what you guys are thinking don't forget to subscribe comment below and we'll see you guys in the next video cheers i'm going in where it's warm